Hi, my name is Mackenzie and welcome back to my channel. In uh, the first part of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my initial reaction to my new hair change. Although you guys cannot tell right now, obviously because my hair isn't done, uh, I did get my hair dyed and cut. So in the first part of the video, you will see my first initial reaction. So I'll let you guys watch that right now. So I am currently on my way to my hair appointment. Um, I'm going to Uptown Curls. It's here in Phoenix, Arizona. So. And this is going to be my first time going to an actual salon and getting my hair cut uh, by someone who specializes in curls and um, I'm gonna get my hair dyed. This is kind of the inspiration I got for my hair. I don't want a lot of color because it is my first time and I don't want damage to my hair. I just wanted something different. I have never done anything different with my hair so I'm just praying that this, this goes well. Um, I'm not sure if I can film inside of the place, so we'll probably see if I get footage from in there, but afterwards I'll give you guys my opinion on how my hair turned out and if I like it and uh, if I recommend it and all that stuff. I'm super excited. I'm already going to be late. I'm supposed to be at 1245 and I'm probably going to get there like 1250, 1250, so probably five minutes late. That's not too bad. Anyways. Enough of me rambling. It took me forever to get out of the house because of Darnell and setting her up and Jamar has to watch her, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, so you guys, this is probably gonna be the last time you see me with my hair looking like this and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. I'm super excited. All right, see you guys in a few hours. So this is what I'm looking like so far, guys. Um, we've got a little color lifting in my hair. Um, I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like, but you can see a little bit right here. So um, I gotta let this sit for about 35 minutes and then we'll get my hair cut and then we'll see what everything looks like. I'm so excited to see what it looks like. Guys, I love my hair. Okay, so you guys are getting my first reaction of me kind of just walking out of the salon. So we have some highlights in there, just kind of like a little caramely tone. Yeah, I got my hair cut a lot, I evened out. I am like in love with the color and even just how she styled it. Cause I feel like it kind of looks like a cute little curly bob. Like, I mean, not a bob, but you know what I mean? Um, and I feel like I could do this hairstyle like when I'm trying to do something different. Um, but like on the daily, I'll definitely have my hair big and fluffy. So I just wanted to show you guys like my first reaction. Um, I'll be sitting in front of my camera in a more professional setting in, in the next clip um, to talk about some of the stuff I learned. But I just wanted to give you guys like my first reaction. I am literally in love. Like I love, let me get face the light. I'm in my car, sorry. But I, I love it. Like, I, I love it, I absolutely love it. But, all right, so I'll see you guys in the next clip uh, to tell you guys what I learned and what I think after having my hair done for a day. Welcome back. So, this part of the video is where I do my hair the way I like to do my hair so I can really get a full grasp on uh, what my hair actually looks like. So my hair is kind of pulled back in these little clips because I uh, was doing my makeup and, um, I caked it on today, so I don't know if you guys can tell. Anyways, I am going to show you guys my routine right now, my normal curly hair routine with some of the new products that I got from the salon. And uh, then I'm gonna really judge what my hair looks like and how I really like it. And then afterwards, I'm gonna show you guys some tips that I learned while I was at this uh, curly salon called Uptown Curls. So first I'm going to wet my hair and get into this curly hair routine. Okay, so I wet my hair and um, I am going to be using a few new products because um, I did buy some new products that was due for some. I have been using this like whipped coconut leave-in conditioner, so I'm kind of over that and the bottle's done. So I did pick up some new products from the salon. First, I'm just going to detangle my hair. In my water bottle today, I just have um, a Carol's Daughter uh, conditioner in here and it's just mixed with some water.
Okay, now that my hair is detangled and I have some leave-in conditioner in there, just to make this video go faster, I am going to diffuse my hair. I usually like to let my hair air dry, but I just want to get to my final results and kind of see what my hair looks like. Just uh, from like first thoughts before my hair dries, my hair is a little shorter than I wanted it to be, but I do understand I didn't cut my hair for a year and a half, so I had really damaged ends. And also, um, my hair was very, very uneven. Like the bottom back part of my hair, like in the middle, was all the way down to like my mid back, but then the sides of my hair uh, were kind of like right below my shoulder blades. So it was very uneven. So I understand why she had to cut it this short, but I actually, I don't hate it short. As you guys saw in my reaction, um, I did love the cut. So uh, before I even react to it dry, I just wanted to give those initial thoughts. Okay guys, this is my hair. It is a little bit damp, but it is mostly dry. And guys, I'm loving it. I know I said I wanted my hair to be longer, but I'm starting to feel like this length of hair for me, I think suits me better. When I have longer hair, I start to look a little bit frumpy, I think, and I look like I carry more weight. I feel like this makes me look a little bit older. It makes me look a little bit more polished. The color turned out amazing. I know it's very minimal color, but I notice it. And this is my first time doing something. So I wanted it to be simple, but like a little change. Like you notice the change a little bit. Um, it feels so good to have my, my ends be healthy. And you can just tell like when I was combing through my hair, it was so easy. And I just love looking at my ends and knowing that they are clean and not damaged in, or anything like that. So now that you guys know my thoughts and my feelings on my new hair, I wanted to share with you guys some things that I learned at Uptown Curls. They also give curly haired girls an educational course while they're doing your hair and they teach you how to take care of your hair. So I know I do a lot of hair stuff on my channel and I want to educate you guys. And there were some things that I learned that I actually didn't know about curly hair. So I'm going to be sharing that stuff with you guys. The first thing I learned is that when using a sulfate free shampoo, I know I preach about that a lot on my channel. If you guys don't know, it just doesn't have all the chemi harsh chemicals that uh, other shampoos have. Uh, so. Um, when using a sulfate free shampoo, they actually require more work. So it is better to section off your hair when using those shampoos and really getting into your scalp. And additionally to putting uh, more scrubbing and like all that stuff and sectioning off your hair, also rinse out your sulfate free shampoo really, really well because they do tend to cause buildup. So if you notice you have a lot of buildup in your hair, even after cleansing it, with a shampoo and if it's sulfate free it's probably because it is sulfate free and you need to work a little bit harder to rinse it out of your hair so what they did to my hair that i don't usually tend to do is they section the hair off and apply shampoo to your curl families so with they didn't use a brush and a comb they actually took their time and while i had my head back into the sink they sectioned off my hair and smoothed in my conditioner as opposed to kind of just slapping it on your hair and then five minutes later rinsing it off. So I really love the attention they gave to each curl and each curl family and made my hair look, it really made my hair look really nice. Personally, I don't wanna do that all the time, but if I notice that my hair is getting dry, I will use that method and um, because I noticed I had a lot of moisture in my hair and they said my hair was a very thirsty. So um, I'll be using that method from time to time, but it won't be like an everyday wash thing because it does take so much time. When testing out your leave-in conditioners and your conditioners, they told me to actually place it in water. I think a lot of curly hair people know this tip, um, but it's not something I've ever done. Uh, my husband laughing at me. Okay, but uh, put your shampoo in some water and let it sit overnight and see if it stays mixed. If it stays mixed, then that means your hair can absorb that product. And if it doesn't and it stays um, and it separates, then that product isn't absorbing into your hair. It's actually just sitting on the outside and that doesn't help your hair cuticles. So something that I really love that they did was uh, pinning up the curls um, at the top of my head where I parted it. So if I was to create a part Oh, my hair is not parting right here, but me. Let me try. Okay. Obviously, I don't part my hair, so okay, whatever. But if I was to create like a small part right here, if you want volume around your part, take those little metal clips. I'll insert a picture right here, um, and just pin up your curls like this around the the 
the crown of the part and it will give you this cute little bump. I'll show you like a little screenshot from the video um, when I was giving you guys my reaction and you guys can see that little volume that pinning up my curls gave. And they said to either just let your hair air dry like that or um, to use a hair dryer and diffuse or they said that those like roll up um, hair dryers that go around your head that you sit under they said they're only 80 bucks so i'm actually thinking of investing in one of those i think that'll be just a better way to dry my hair quicker and kind of make me feel like i'm in a salon uh, when i'm doing my hair so uh something interesting that i learned is that your hair can actually get addicted to a shampoo um, when you stop using shampoo completely like i did or you use a different shampoo sometimes your hair um your head can start to itch and it's because you're not using that shampoo anymore and your scalp has gotten used to it and that routine. So if your scalp is itching, like that's normal, your scalp is just healing and uh, there are ways to help uh, soothe that itchiness. You can create a, a, um, a scrub for your scalp and I've never thought of creating a scrub for my scalp. You know, we always do that for our skin. So um, to create this, this scrub for your scalp, which I haven't tried yet, but I'll give you guys the ingredients in case you guys want to try. Uh, there's, so there's two scrubs you can make. Take one tablespoon of brown sugar or uncooked quinoa and three tablespoons of your conditioner that you use. And then you wet your hair and you apply the scrub in circular motions on your scalp, starting from the nape of your neck. And then you rinse thoroughly with your cleansing conditioner. Another way you can do it is, um, Oh, another way you can prevent, sorry, there's not two scrubs, but there's two ways to prevent the itching. So the second way to prevent the itching is to create a lavender spray and um, you just fill up your your spray bottle with water and add about five drops of lavender and that is um, a way to help the itching. Lavender can help uh, deodorize your hair and uh, revamp your hair and all of that stuff and it smells really good so uh, lavender is a good thing to invest in for curly hair girls or anybody who just wants like that clean cleansing deodorizing property after they work out or anything like that so the new line that has come out i don't know where you can buy it yet but um, i'll leave links below if i do find it if i don't then there won't be any links um, but there are four products that i picked up while i was there I picked up a new uh, conditioner. It is a recovery conditioner by Biolage Matrix. It is their organic brand for curls. And this is for stress sensitized hair. And it has coriander oil and, uh, I don't wanna butcher that word, but the kaolin clay. This is a pretty big bottle. All four of these products from the salon were $96. So I'm not exactly sure what each individual price was. Um, I'm sure the prices are bumped up because I bought it from the salon, but I really am in desperate need for a new conditioner, a new leave-in, a new cleansing conditioner. So uh, I can't, I really can't wait to use these products because I liked how they worked on my hair when they used them at the salon. So um, the second product that I picked up is this cleansing conditioner also by Biolage. It's for curly hair and it doesn't strip your hair of its natural oils. There's no sulfates and there's no parabens. So this is what they use to cleanse my hair. and. When using this, this is when she was like, separate your hair when doing this, really scrub it and then really rinse it out. So I can't wait to use this again. I haven't used it since uh, they used it at the salon. The final two products I got from the salon are these two styling products also by Biolage. This is the Botifying Styling Jelly and then this is the Curl Defining Styling Butter. I just used this in my hair now and my hair feels really nice and soft with it in. I didn't use the jelly because um, I wasn't experiencing a whole bunch of frizz. I feel like I'm gonna use the jelly more when I want those super defined curls. I do like my curls to be kind of poofed out and um, have a lot of movement and softness to them. Uh, this doesn't make your hair crunchy though. So I'm just, I'm gonna use this from time to time depending on how I style my hair. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to stick to this curl defining styling butter uh, because I really like how it feels in my hair. Okay guys, so those are my thoughts on my new hair and some new tips and tricks that I learned from the Uptown Curl Styling Boutique. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave that down below. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that bell because I do not upload consistently. I just upload when I have good ideas and I really wanna share with you guys. I wanna continue making good content and things that I like. So um, if you guys could hit that bell, it would really make me happy so you guys can see when I upload. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.